We all know how incredibly hard it is to get a hot, healthy, or not even hot, just some sort of breakfast in us before we leave and start the day. So I'm gonna show you that you can actually do it in about five minutes. And I'm actually gonna do a hot breakfast. I'm gonna to do tofu scramble. Where'd my knife go? Where's your knife? There it is. Isn't this exciting? It is exciting. I can't believe we're going to do this in five minutes. Nutritional yeast, of course. Ah. Mari. Yeah. Also essential. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's so me? You start with your tofu in. I've always done the veggies first and then I it. normally would. Oh, okay. But since I'm doing this, kind of is it cookie? When do we start? We started at 2.19, so you're only a minute in. It's pretty impressive. They don't need to cook long. No, they definitely don't. This is a great way to get some green veggies in all before lunchtime. Yeah. And I just like to wilt it. I don't like to overdo it. Yeah, definitely. We have two minutes left. I think I'm so impressed. Well, I can make a smoothie. That's true. I won't, but... And I could even wrap this into a burrito if I wanted. And I didn't add any salt because you have the tamari. You don't really need salt. Voila! That's beautiful, yay! In four minutes, might I add. That is <laughs> A steaming hot breakfast, and it's super yummy, and it's pretty healthy because it's got tons of protein, nutritional yeast, a huge handful of spinach, vegetables, and spices, and I didn't even add salt, I just added the tamari, and then it's cooked in a nice little dollop of safflower oil, and it's really yummy. Yay! <laughs> Hey everyone, so I just want to show you how you can quickly throw together a five minute packable lunch. Um, it means that you've done a few things ahead of time. This would be the main component of your lunch. There are veggies in it, there's a healthy whole grain, um, there's a delicious dressing. But you'll want to pack a couple of other things throughout the day so that you have enough to eat. This is my five minute um, no bake oatmeal bar, which you can find the recipe for on my blog. Um, it's basically just oats, sunflower seeds, raisins, peanut butter, agave, and cinnamon. And you put it all into a pan, press it down, and you don't have to bake anything. And you slice it up, and then you can have a square to go. This can be your afternoon snack, or it can be dessert with your lunch, depending on when you want to eat it and how hungry you are when lunchtime rolls around. Other snacks that I love to pack for grown-ups and kids alike are baby carrots, um, the thing I also love is this trail mix from Navitas Naturals, which is kind of a variation on your super traditional trail mix, which is just like peanuts and raisins or whatever. Um, this has goji berries and it has golden mulberries, which are completely delicious, raw cashews and cacao nibs. So it has all of the sweetness and flavor and texture of normal trail mix, but it's 100% raw. And that is it. You have your vegetable and grain packed um, salad, you have extra veggies for the afternoon, you have protein in your oat bar and your hummus, and you have trail mix for some crunch. And that's all it takes to have a healthy lunch in about five minutes straight in the morning. So I wanted to give you a quick tip on packing a healthy, delicious breakfast. This is based on a recipe I have on my blog for something called banana sushi, which was just wrapping a banana up in a um, charred leaf and adding some almond butter and a little bit of agave. Fun um, for and kids. Then cutting it up. Yeah, which it's is super old. fun. Just the name will get them. Exactly. <laughs> banana sushi, you, you can't lose. Um, it couldn't possibly be easier. You're just going to peel your banana like this. 
you just put your banana into the leaf like this. You can break it in half so that it's a little bit more straight like this if you want to. People might think that fruit and greens would be a weird combination, like bananas in salad mm -hmm. is not something people do. <laughs> right. Except if you've tried it and you realize that it's really not as crazy as you think. It's got the salty sweet flavor that's Oh, I think it's delicious. Actually, my friend Kristen, who writes Kristen's Raw, the, the website, um, she has a banana romaine salad, which is completely delicious. Yeah. And definitely, again, it's the sort of thing you hear and you're like, <laughs> but basically what I would do to finish this would be a little dribble, drizzle of agave. Like or this. maple syrup. Or maple syrup. And you would wrap it up like this. And you could make a couple of them and put it in foil. And there you are. I mean super, super easy to pack. <laughs> Almond butter is such a great bridge ingredient for kids because you know they already love it, you know their friends are eating it, so if you put it in kind of quirky recipes, they'll say, oh look, you love peanut butter, you love almond butter, and they'll start to at least try it. Um, yeah, that's totally right. leaf will just be thrown in there. <laughs> the last totally. Minute. Sneak attack. <laughs> it's green sneak attack. Um, so for this one, I instead of using agave, which would also be great, I'm going to use a little bit of jam, which can be really nice if you're doing it in a wrap. Um, I sort of dump everything onto the banana here. You could definitely spread it out onto the wrap if you want it to be neat, which I'm not <laughs> when I'm in a rush in the morning. Um, so you need like the squeeze, just squeeze you do it on. Need the squeeze. The squeeze jam. Oh, that would be so nice. So my wrap skills are not quite as great as Kathy's. She's like the wrap whisperer. Well, you need to warm the wrap if you really want it the proper That's true. wrapping That's procedure. That's true, and I'm just giving it a quick roll like this. And you're also getting them to eat some fresh fruit in the morning too, right. which is pretty exciting. And bananas are very kid-friendly as far as fruit goes. You could even slice them into tiny little rounds Definitely. like I do for some of my things. And it's it's almost like a sushi thing again. Mm -hmm. Some of these recipes are both on our website, so you can see mine at healthyhappylife.com. And mine are at choosingraw.com. And you can see more of our videos. We have another one from our summer one yeah. also on YouTube. Thanks for joining us for our back to school special with Kathy and Jenna. Um, we hope we've managed to show you that packing a super healthy and delicious lunch can be done in about five minutes or less. <laughs> Eating healthy on the go is 100% possible and that you don't have to sacrifice either the nutritiousness of your lunch or your breakfast. <laughs> or, I'm just making up now <laughs> all over the place. Yeah. Okay, so thank you for joining us and we hope you can check out more of our recipes and videos on our blog and we'll see you online. Yeah, we'll see you online and for the next installment of the Kathy Jenna Show. Yes. Yay. Yay. We'll just do the poser. All right, so thanks for... <laughs> <laughs> thanks for something. I don't know. Thanks for joining us here today. Is that what we meant to say? Yeah. yeah.